Mike Menzer, Lou Ferrigno, two of the greatest bodybuilders of all time, I would suspect, that never won the Mr. Olympia title before. We're going to do a picture comparison. Fan requested at that. You guys wanted to see this one. Two legends. Two legends, guys. Mike Menzer, of course, he was runner-up to the Olympia title. Late 70s to Frank Zane, things of that nature. He was doing good. He quit after 1980, after placing fifth. Arnold Schwarzenegger, you know, you guys know the story. And Lou Ferrigno, he quit after the 75 Olympia. So the, these guys never really got to do battle. Having said that, I think they would have been side by each on the Olympia stage. We're going to do a picture comparison comparison using all of the pictures that I believe that jive, that go together. Obviously, Lou Ferrigno returned in the 90s, and he was all on all kinds of extracurricular things that they had. So for the most part, we're going to use older pictures. This is two photo shoots, I believe, and they are built different. Lou actually has an edge in the torso heap. Obviously, size-wise, he's going to have an advantage because he's six foot five. for goodness sakes. Menzer, not that tall at all. Menzer has great arms. He has some good arms, bicep peaks. Is that genetics? Is that training? Well, most people would say it's the HIT training, but, I mean, if his, if, if his training was that much better than everybody else's, wouldn't he be a whole lot better, obviously, visibly, better than anybody else? But I think that Lou's... Probably just as good. Maybe not, like I said, in the arms. He has longer limbs. But his wheels, I would suspect, are actually probably beating Mike Menzer. Here's an on stage. And I would suspect, for sure, these are pitcher comparisons, guys. From the 70s. You're not going to be able to tell. Maybe from the early 80s for Menzer. You're not going to be able to tell for sure. But he can make an educated decision on it. And I think, I think in this picture here, Menzer... His torso heap looks pretty darn good. So using the other one, maybe Lou would have had an edge in that. But I think Mike Menzer, maybe a better set of arms as well than Lou. So probably Menzer in the front double. At the end of the day, guys, if you're going to use 70s judges, they'd probably go with Lou because he's so big. Big size, you know. That's a name, too. Lou Ferrigno. He was a name after pumping iron. So, Here's the front lat spread. Huh. This is interesting. Mike did open up a, very well in that front double. But here in the front lat spread, Lou... And I noticed this before about Big Ferrigno. His lats pop out a la Dorian-esque. I would, su I would suggest to him, if I was Matty Ferrigno, put your hands down. Lou, both, both hands, Lou... Both arms, Lou. Put both hands down a little bit more. Where were you, Maddie, during the front lat spread? But having said that, also, Lou not showing in this picture because Menzer didn't have his, his legs showing, but Lou's wheels looked awesome. Lou's legs are actually very underrated, I would suspect. So pretty close after the first two. I would personally give an edge to Lou because of the size, but not just because of the the... Front lat spread, the front double in combination with the front lat spread. I think Lou, Lou fares better, but I'd still give Mike the front double. Let's turn to the side here and focus on the couple of side shots that we do have. And what's interesting to me here is the fact that Lou's chest is so much bigger, so much thicker than Mike Menzer's that it's not even funny. So my question to the HIT guys... You can, and I don't mean to upset or offend. You guys treated this as like it's a religion, for goodness sakes. I do not. I do not. I think all training systems can be picked apart. There's good parts of some, good, good parts, bad parts about them as well. As far as the chest is concerned, muscle, certain muscle groups, I don't think HIT's up to par with, say, volume training. Obviously, Arnold, his chest is unbelievable. Serge Nebre, he did 20 reps, 20 sets, not that heavy. Obviously, the intensity can be put up, down, depending on the training, I think. And as far as the HIT guys, Mike Menzer, Dorian Yates, things of that nature, their chests were never the best. So, could do volume for your chest. Get 
bubbled it out like Lou Ferrigno, but no way, shape, or form as men's are beating Lou here. Not even close, guys. Here's a side tricep, and you can see that again. This is a photo shoot for each, but you can definitely tell great big man's manly chest. And I'm not here to offend the HIT training guys one, one bit, but the more I look at comparisons using the guys that boast about certain trainings, I noticed that the chests were definitely better for mo for the most part of high-volume trainers like Lou Ferrigno. Now, in the side tricep shot itself, Mike Menzer, he's bullying Lou Ferrigno, the great big man with his big man's chest. Little waistline on Lou, too. No abs, but little, little waistline. But his arm, tricep for tricep, Menzer, he's, he's a little bully, beating up on Lou. So, again... Pretty close out of the side, but thinking about the side chest also, maybe an edge to Lou out of the side and the uh, the front. Now, as far as the back shots, you're not going to get a whole lot of footage. There's a, a nice photo shoot of each. Nice clean shot. You can tell they're similar condition as far as that's concerned. Nobody's going to be like a Dorian Yates type, hard grainy nature. But yeah, Lou's got some thick flaps of lat insertions. Very impressive. And Menzer's got some arms. Got some arms. Wow. Now, I do have... I do. I surely do. Have a, a rear double here. And Menzer, he's ripped to the diced in the Christmas tree. Both of them have a badonkadonk. That's just how it was, guys. That's just how it was. There was no straw in the glutes. <laughs> Be like if... If these guys from the 70s came to the future, they'd say, where's, where's everybody's hair? Where's everybody's mullets? They would not They would notice there's all the mullets are missing. So, it's kind of the same thing with the glutes. They have no glutes back then. Just bums. Just bums. Lou Bigger, more gifted in the lads, but Mike Menzer battles back with the Christmas tree area. This is a pretty neat matchup. To be honest, here's the abs and thigh. To be honest with you, Diane, I was surprised that he was not a horse, that he was a broom. But anyway, Lou, Lou's got a better set of abs. And for the most part, if you stack up a high-volume trainer with a guy that does HIT, I'm on the HIT, man. High-intensity training, different way of training. For the most part, the volume guys have a better set of abs. But let's not misconstrue the situation. Dorian Yates was Dorian Yates. Mike Menzer's Mike Menzer. Had he trained volume, high intensity, he would have been still intense. He would have still looked great. These guys' genetics have a lot more to do with somebody having a 70s bow chest or bicep peaks than the training. But obviously the training matters too. Here's the most muscular, guys. And this is Lou from the future. He got rid of that Matty Ferrigno. That was the best move that he did. Matty. Both arms, Louie, you little bastard. Both arms. Nobody looks at one arm anymore. Peter, Peter, Peter. But anyway, that's terrible. That's terrible. Matty didn't sound like that. But he would. He did force Louie to look at both arms. You can see Louie. He wanted to, he wanted to protest there, but he, he did. He went and, uh, both arm, Dad? Both arm, Okay. He went and looked at both arms, and on he went. On he went. Sad. But you know what? I'm going to give this one to Lou Ferrigno. And I'm not hating on Mike Menzer. I'm not hating on the high-intensity training. I think it has its place. I think it all has its place. Hey, if you're, if you're training to do a certain sport, then some of this training seems bizarre to bodybuilders. And vice versa, to certain other sports, they see bodybuilders and think, well, that's stupid. Who cares who has the biggest muscle? Well, bodybuilders care. That's the sport. That's the thing. So, you see you see people picking on bodybuilders on the internet. These foolish videos. Oh, look, I can lift more than that big muscle man. Yeah, but that's not what he's doing. He's there to get jacked. He's there to look you should throw that little stick man up on the stage and we'll see him get laughed off the stage. Slapstick. Doesn't matter how much they're lifting. Doesn't matter how they're lifting it. As long as they get the results. 
And there's many different ways, many different roads to get to the land of success. So, high intensity training, Dorian Yates, Men Menzer, things of that nature, they get results, obviously. Lou Ferrigno, hey, neither of these guys can boast about winning an Olympia title, that's for sure, that's for darn sure. So, take that for what it is. Hit thumbs up on the video, subscribe to the channel. Have a nice one.